A father of the man killed in that theater shooting is now headed to the state capitol. Tom Sullivan won his race in House District 37 last night. Rick Salinger live at the state capitol tonight. Or Rick, you talked with Sullivan. I'm curious, what is his focus as he enters the legislature? Well, Dominic, not surprisingly, legislation dealing with gun violence and victims' rights. His compelling story goes back to that horrible day in July of 2012. Alex Sullivan, 27. And you're his dad? 27. You're his dad? I'm his dad. A father's search for his son. Alex Sullivan had gone to see the new Batman movie with friends for his 27th birthday. I just think that's what everybody would do, you know. You're trying to find him, and, and maybe someone's seen him. Alex and 11 others were murdered in the theater that night. Since then, Tom Sullivan has been outspoken about gun violence, testifying at legislative committees. To some, he said, didn't want to listen. What we will do is do what I did and um, build a coalition you know, behind you, and we will run you out of your offices. And so he decided to run as a Democrat for state representative in a heavily Republican district. He'll take office in January at the Capitol and already wants to revive what's called the red flag bill for those deemed a significant risk to themselves and others. Have the ability to temporarily um, uh, remove their firearms from them and then they can reevaluate that again in, in another six months. This retired postal worker is out to make changes after losing his only son to gunfire. What would Alex say about what you've accomplished here? Way to go, Dad. He defeated Republican Cole West in Arapahoe County. And so, Tom Sullivan's son, Alex's legacy will live on here at the state capitol. In Denver, Rick Salinger covering Colorado First. Rick, thank you. And you can look for more election results across Colorado. Just check out cbsdenver.com. Look for the election results tab at the top of that site.